up guys learning with rich here in this video about foundation so after learning how to create our foundation walls so this time around I'm going to teach you how to add wall footings all right so before we start the wall footings let me just uh, show you another tool that we can found on our view control bar so on our view control bar you have this tool that is called um, show crop region and then the partner of this one is crop view okay so as you can see if I'm going to click this one as you can see the bulb here is turned off right and it says show crop region so that means if I'm going to click this button it will show the crop region and automatically notice that the crop view here will going to be activated Okay, so as you can see, there's an X here. It's turned off. So if I click here, the show crop region, the partner of that one, which is the crop view, will going to be turned on. So I'm going to click this. And there you go. So it's turned on and then it's turned on. Okay, so this is the crop region. So this is very useful if your project is so big and then you want to concentrate on one part of the building so you can use your crop region okay actually you can still use your crop region with your crop view here turned off okay so i'm going to select this so as you can see here the name says do not crop view so meaning to say if i click this it will not crop the view because right now if i move my crop view here it will crop the view right just like that so if i'm going to click this it says do not crop view so if i click that one it will not crop the view okay so you can use the crop view here if you want to concentrate or the crop region if you want to concentrate on one part of your building just like that and then after that you just need to turn on the crop view so select that so you'll be able to concentrate on one part of your building okay so another tool that you can uh, partner with your crop region and then your crop view so let me just turn off again do not crop you is your uh, text okay so let's say for example here I'm going to create a text so I'm going to select the text and then after that so by default here no leader is selected so that's why if i create here a text so this is the default text so let's say i'm going to use a one fourth inch aerial so i'm going to select this one i'm going to place it here okay so i'm just going to type a text here so let's say this is my sample text okay so as you can see if I click outside, it will now terminate. So that's the default, no leader. So if you want to have a leader, like two segments, so you can select that one. So let's say um, I want to create here my first point, and then the second point here, and then the third point. There you go. Okay? So let's say, for example, I'm going to put there art wall, or whatever text that you want. Okay, so this one can be controlled by the tool here on our uh, properties, which is annotation crop. The first two tools that we have used earlier is the crop view and then the crop region visible. So you can also find um, this tool here, the crop region and then the crop view. On our view properties so it's called crop view and then crop region visible here so if I'm going to turn on the annotation crop so I'm going to check that one out and then just click outside so if I'm going to turn on now the crop view here on the view control bar or just select the crop view here so as you can see now it crops also the annotation and then if i'm going to hover my pointer to the crop region here so aside from the broken line uh, aside from the solid line here there is also a broken line so this broken line is your annotation crop 
So that means any text that is outside your annotation crop will be cropped out from the view. So I can adjust this one if I want and it, uh, it will now show here the text. But if I'm going to touch that with the annotation crop, it will be cropped out. It will be hidden. Okay? So that's why if you have so many texts outside here and then you want that text to be turned off or to be cropped, so you just need to turn on the annotation crop. You just need to uh, check that one. And let's say you want to show the, all the annotations, so you just need to uncheck your annotation crop. There you go. See? Okay? So usually, if I do not want to make my view looks dirty, there's a lot of text dimensions out there, I also check the annotation crop. There you go. Okay? So remember, this is your crop region. It can crop your model elements. And then this one is the annotation crop. All right? So now, let us go to our topic, which is uh, wall footing. So I'm going to unhide this one. And then I'm going to uncheck or turn off the crop view. There you go. So let me just delete the text that I just created earlier. Now, so after our last video, we we have learned how to create our foundation wall. So I just opened the 3D view. Okay, my laptop is so slow. So there's our uh, foundation wall. So this time around, we are going to put an element on our wall here, which is a wall footing. Okay, so to create a wall footing, what I'm going to do is going back to my level 1, I'm going to select here structure. And then there is an option here. There's a panel, foundation, and then there's our uh, wall foundation. Okay? So you just need to select the foundation wall. And then as you can see, this is the default wall foundation bearing footing. So what we are going to do, let's edit this one. So let's say, for example, uh, we are going to create another type of wall foundation because as you can see, I only have here a couple of uh, wall foundation type. So what I'm going to do if I want to create a new type is I'm going to go ahead and select edit type. And then we are going to duplicate that. So duplicate. Okay, so I'm just going to name it bearing footing. But for the size, I'm going to make it um, let's say uh, 3 feet, 3 feet by, let's say, 6 inches, okay? So 3 feet by 6 inches, okay? And then after that, I'm going to select your OK, right? So after you create that type, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are now going to specify here the dimension, Okay, so for the dimension, so I'm just going to put here the width. So instead of uh, 3 foot or 3 feet, so I'm going to make it, uh, oh, the foundation thickness. So that is 3 feet, the width, and then the foundation thickness is 6 inches. So I'm just going to change from here. So, 6, oops, 6 inches, okay? So, the width is 3 feet, and then the foundation thickness is 6 inches, all right? And then after that, I just need to select your OK. There you go. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is, since this is a wall foundation, so we need to select our wall here, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hover my pointer to one of the wall just like that do not click just hover your pointer so once you see it highlights as you can see it turns green right when you when i hover my pointer it turns green so maybe in your case it might turn the color to blue which is the default color of a highlighted element so in my case it's colored green right so i'm going to hover my pointer like that do not click yet just hover so once you see it highlights, you press the tab, okay, 
And then as you can see, it now highlights the chain of walls. Okay, and if that is line, it will highlight the chain of lines. Okay, so let me repeat. So hover your pointer to one of the wall there, and then press tab once. Do not hold it, just press tab once. So once you see it highlights, just click. Okay, you click now to place the wall foundation. Just click. And there you go. So as you can see, it says that none of the created elements are visible in our structural plan. Okay, so that's okay. So I, I can't see it here on my structural plan. So what I'm going to do is I'll try to go to the 3D view, which is this one. And then let's have a look on our wall foundation. And there you go. Okay, so there is now our wall foundation here. Okay, so if I hold the shift and then hold the middle button of the mouse to orbit, so you will not be able to see the wall foundation that you just created, okay? So we now have something that our wall uh, bears, which is our wall foundation. Actually, if I go to the level 1 here, okay? So we can play around with our uh, view range, okay? So to do that, Let's go to our uh, properties. Do not select any elements. So to make sure, just select modify. And then from the properties, move the slider down. And then there's an option here, view range. So you just select your edit. And then for the view depth, so instead of uh, minus 6 feet. So how about I'm going to make this minus 12 feet. Okay, so I'm going to move the view depth to 12 feet. And then I select your OK. And then let's see what will happen now. So OK. There you go. So as you can see, it now shows our uh, wall foundation. So I can type SD for shaded view. Or I can also select from the visual style here, the shaded. OK. And there you go. OK. So there is our wall foundation. OK. So basically, that's how you create your wall foundation. So for our next topic, I'm going to teach you how to add peers and pilasters. Alright, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.